Kel Cat back with another video, man. I'm about to skip today. I'm not going to the gym today, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm just gonna go work, start off work. I gotta work the whole entire day, man, but you know, that's how it is. But what I want to say was, man, I know that shit ain't fair, man. You know, with women and shit, man, a lot of guys are being shut out of the sexual market place, you know, and you know, what can I say, man? It's, it's the survival of the fittest, man. That's the way this world is, is built. Survival of the fittest, man. If you're not fit, if you're not mentally fit, too, if you're not physically and, and mentally fit, then you're going to sink. I hope, you know, your parents taught you this when you were little. I, I have come to learn this, man. I have come to learn this as I age. That nobody's gonna give a fuck about you but you, man. You know what I'm saying? You guys gotta, you know, be like men and, and build shit. And these fucking bitches will come around, man. But if you ain't built nothing... You're going to have a hard time, man. That's the reality, man. That's so... I can't say this enough, yo. That's reality. And a lot of cats get upset when you talk about, well, you know, you need to self-improve. You need to do this. You need to do that. And people don't want to hear that. They want to hear about these bitches. And I understand these females are fucking shysty as hell. They picky about who goes inside them. They picky, man. You know what I mean? And especially nowadays. That's why your boy got... Your boy started to fucking use enhancements. Because I felt like I was being shut out of the, uh, of the sexual marketplace. I was being shut out, man. I had no pussy. I was jacking off all the time. And I was just lying to myself. Well, I'm going celibate. And, you know, motherfucker, you got no choice but to go celibate. That's why. That's what, what was happening to me, man. I had no choice but to go celibate. You know, I had no choice. You know, and I, I, I sometimes I think deep in thought. Well, what I want my life to be in the next five to ten years, because I ain't got a whole lot of left. I ain't got a whole lot of time left. Today I'm low carbing. I'm not gonna fuck with that many carbs today, man. Low carb, low carbs. I don't need the carbs, man. That's what keeps me fat. Oh, that's what keeps you fat. It's carbs. Too many carbs, not enough cardio, man. Shit. You saw I was up on that treadmill. I was doing them sprints. I did that ten times. You know, the women that are attracted to me are five, sixes, and sevens, man. I can't go no higher than that. And every time, every time I go higher than that, I get put back into place. You know, maybe I might find a unicorn, a unicorn bitch or something like that. That's like an eight that'll give me some pussy. You know what I'm saying? You know. But... I'm not getting the top shelf bitches. 
my homeboy that I was hanging out with last night, he's getting the top shelf bitches. I'm just a tag along. You know what I'm saying? Because, like I said before, man, I hang out with the 10 guys so I can get the overflow. That's what I got to do. I consider myself as a 6 or a 7. But I'm an I'm a 8 in the body, though. But women are not mostly about the body. They're about the face, especially the pretty ones. See, the thing is, a child, he don't have to be muscular. You know what I'm saying? All he has to do is have nice facial features. That's all he has to have. You know? That's all he has to have is nice facial features. And a lot of guys get caught up, you know, because we fix the body, but we can't fix our face. Unless we go through plastic surgery. There's a lot of incels out there going through plastic surgery just so they can look like Chad or, uh, or, um, or, or, or Tyrone. You know? Just the other day, I was talking to an Asian chick while her her uh, her Chad boyfriend went to the bathroom. She was asking me questions about fitness and stuff. So I gave her some answers. She was she was like, uh, well, you know, I want to work out like you and stuff and be motivated. I said, well, you got to get around the right people. You got to get around people that motivate you. You know, you got to get around people that motivate you. You can't be stuck around people who don't want to change. It's hard to change by yourself, nigga. Why you think I got like workout partners now? I hang out with uh, the guy that's a 10. I hang around him. You know what I'm saying? He talked to all the bitches in the gym. I'm going to get the overflow. My social status is going up in the gym, man. Because I have to fucking make a name for myself. I can't be some weirdo that's by himself and they can't get friends, can't get along with people. You become a weirdo if you get off by yourself too too long. You stop like knowing what's cool. You start dressing differently. You see I cut that fucking hair, man? That shit was incel hair, man. <laughs> Somebody said I look like an incel. I said, yeah, motherfucker, I told you I was incel for a while. Duh. Some dude named Soul something. I forgot his name. But a lot of women are telling me I look better with my hair cut, and I'm keeping it this way. I'm not letting my hair grow out like that, man. I let my hair grow out because I thought it was cool. You know, and I got, I was by myself for a while. Then I start getting around motherfuckers who get pussy. They, they all got haircuts. So, okay, I was like, okay, well, if these motherfuckers getting pussy and their hair is cut short, I'm about to cut my hair short. You know? So, See, the thing is, my haircut, it fucking brought out my features more. The hair is, the hair hides your fucking eyelashes, it, it hides your fucking features, all the features around your face. When you cut your hair, women can just see your jawline a lot more. It brings your jawline out, it brings your, your facial features out, it brings everything out. And I, you know what? A lot of guys can't fix their face. The thing is, I was a Chad when I was in my 20s, man. I was a Tyrone, I mean. Not a Chad. I was a Tyrone. 
I got way more pussy in my 20s than, than I do now. Even working out using enhancements still wasn't compared to what uh, it was when I was 22, 23 years old. I was busting all kinds of nuts. You know? You see your boy, your boy look good on camera. But I'm showing you guys the videos of me exercising and stuff. I still need to work on my gut a little bit. You know, man, you know what I mean? But at least my stomach is flat. It's even with my chest. So, you know, right now I'm working on eating less carbs, you know, and I quit the alcohol drinking because this is not, it's not worth it. I go to bars and stuff, but I don't drink anymore because basically when I drink, it's like climbing a motherfucking uh, mountain with some uh, slippery hands and feet and shit. Just never getting to the top. So I quit alcohol and I'm going to see what that does to my body and see how, you know, how I look after a month of not drinking alcohol. I want to make money, man. My mind's on my fucking money. And I want I want to have a brighter future in my 40s, man. I don't want to be I don't want to be that nigga that's broken his 40s. I'm already approaching 40 now. Next 3 or 4 years, I should have that channel popping, nigga. It should be off the motherfucking chain, nigga. You know what I'm saying? 3 or 4 years, that's enough time to get 100,000 subscribers or more. Today I'm working all day today, so I gotta save up for my camera. You know? But like I said, man, I feel sorry for some of the incels that just cannot make it out. You know? Fucking surrounded by water and can't drink the shit. Nigga, I'm not drinking the best water, but I'm drinking something. The bitches that are attracted to me. You know, I'm drink I'm drinking something. So get on your grind. You know what I'm saying? Stop acting like a little piatch. You know what I'm saying? And hustle. See, the thing is, I got a martial art background. That's the reason why I'm so tough on myself. My martial art instructor back in the day, the master I used to train up under, Capoeira, he used to be really tough on me, man. And we used to train Capoeira six times a week, man. And he was like a drill sergeant. If you was late, 50 push-ups, 100 push-ups. 50 squats. You know what I'm saying? He didn't tolerate that late shit, man. You know? He didn't tolerate you talking back to him either. He's basically was your daddy. <laughs> I seen a lot of cats get in trouble and shit. You know what I'm saying? When I was uh, coming up and uh, going through that program. And we trained, I mean, we trained every single day. Talking about feet being blistered up and shit. Uh, your toes are splitting because you're, you're, you're doing capoeira with your feet uh, on, the, uh, on the gym floor. You know what I mean? You're training, you're, you're throwing a, a million kicks a day basically, man. Not that many, but you know what I'm saying? You get the picture. You're throwing like a thousand kicks a day you're doing no hand cartwheels. You're flipping through the air. You're doing breakdancing moves and stuff, man. So that that martial art was all about conditioning. You know, playing the music in the background, people sing, singing, clapping, and dancing and stuff. And you and you in the middle of that circle surviving because you you might be playing somebody that's like from Brazil. You know, you might be playing. You might be playing somebody that's like at a higher level. They might kick you sometimes. You might get kicked a few times. So that's how I was able to come out of incel. You know, because I have a martial arts background, and I started really young. I was like 15 years old when I started that class, 
and I ended it in 2007. So I did about a good, like, 12 years doing that. And I was getting women, man. I had six-pack abs. I was ripped. You know, I had, uh, I had girlfriends coming in all my life all the time, man. You know, I was young. I had a nice-looking face, man. You know, I, I had no problem getting women in the bed. No fucking problem. All of a sudden, I get 30 years old, I get overweight, and it becomes a problem now. See, the thing is, when you, when your ex, uh, ex Tyrone, you be sitting there thinking like, wait a minute. Now, uh, what happened to me? What, you know, you start losing your powers. Basically, like Superman to kryptonite and shit. You be like, fuck, what the fuck is going on? The pussy nuts coming, it's not coming in like it used to. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? You hit like 32, 33 years old. And you don't know your metabolism. You don't know that, you know, um, I got to get gas, y'all. You don't know that time has caught up with you. And you're like, man, you get this big old pot belly stomach. And you're still trying, you're trying to talk to women, you know, and you're, you're overweight. You got man boobs. You know what I'm saying? You ain't, you ain't dressing nice. All of a sudden... You become incel. And then you don't know it. You don't know what's going on. And you and you gotta you gotta know that you have aged. Okay? You cannot eat the same things that you used to when you were younger and still keep a six pack. I'm sorry. And my six pack been in and out. You know, when I when I when I was going out drinking, chasing bitches and shit, six pack disappeared, man. But when I'm not chasing bitches, you know, when I'm not chasing bitches, six pack come back. When I'm not drinking, you know, can't do it, man. My body cannot do it. I'm 40 years old. Even on the on the supplements or even on the fucking um, on the enhancement, my body can't do it. It can't. So. To keep yourself from being incel, you just got to stay on your shit. Uh, if you don't have looks, you got to have money. And I think, like, a lot of us can't change overnight. It takes time to change. You have to make a, a solid effort and a promise to yourself that you will get out of incel. You will rise above it. You might not have good facial features, but I can work out and keep my body in shape. My my face has changed throughout the years. It, it, no, it's not the same. It's sagging a little bit. It's sagging right here. You know what I'm saying? That's why I always do the exercises like this. Sorry. That's why I always do them, the exercises like this, man. Keep them sagging more. It helps out, too. You got to do it every day. And you got to you know, rotate. And go like this. Because as you age, face starts sagging. It don't sag as bad as women, but it still sags a bit. So, anyway, I got to end this uh, video. You guys have a good day. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a like and comment. Click the notification bell button so you would never, ever miss another video from me. And I'm about to go ahead and try to holler at this girl. All right, peace. Yeah, because uh, yeah, I'm going to fuck the shit out of her. <laughs> All right.